Hello and welcome to At Home With Mindy um, We went, well today is the 16th of November It's a Wednesday, you'll see this tomorrow um, We went to Tesco's because we've been given some vouchers through the post And the first one was £6 off a £40 shop When I do the total I'm not going to include the voucher price well, I'll give you both prices, but the thumbnail will say without the voucher price. Because obviously we don't get a voucher every week, so there's no point in including it really. But we came on budget. So that is amazing. Um, yeah, this week I did make a list of stuff I wanted to buy. And then it kind of completely changed. Because we, you walk in, you've got your fruit and veg. I picked up a few bits, but we headed straight to the cola. Because we only picked up six bottles, but I wanted to make sure we got the cola because that's why we go to Tesco's mainly. But um, I've made a meal plan. I think I can do it this week. But... Because the cola is like three quarters of the way into the shop, we thought, right, we'll start at the back where there's there's like a reduced section of tins near the pharmacy part. So we thought, we'll just have a look there. Oh my God, I'm so glad we did. So we're going to head over to that corner where I've put everything, which is over here. Because you remember last week, I said that Katie's children had eaten some cereal and I'd forgotten to buy cereal, but we had enough. I now think we have enough till the end of the year and because this is a shopping haul for four adults, I forgot to say that. But I don't know who was reducing the stuff this week, but oh my God, they went crazy. Um, Cornflakes. Uh, it says 24 servings. Oh, 720 grams. I always put it at 750, so also a bit of shrinkflation going on. But down to £1.20. So we'll take those, thank you. Um, these are craves that are £4. I'd never pay that for a brand name. We normally get Aldi's own. But down to £1.60 for the proper craves. And I should say, we were doing scan as you go. So that I could make sure I hit the £40. But I'm so glad we did because they didn't cover up half... You know, both barcodes there, not covered. Um, I can't put it back now. I've also got... Honey hoops because they're down to 40p, and I know people are going to say, Oh, you should have just taken one box of cereal. But if it will last us till Christmas or the new year, I'm saving money in the long run. Um, okay, sometimes you've got to think about your own family first, as well as other people, but also just you know, I'd like a variety of cereals. These are Cocoa Pops rocks, so they're sort of like lumpy things, but they were down to one pound. But again, no thing on that barcode. So all I'm going to say as well is if you're shopping and you're buying reduced stuff, make sure that when you put it through the counter or the cashier, that they are doing the right barcode. Tesco's own wheat biscuits, 31p. And when it comes to sharing, I can share with my grown-up children that don't live with us. If they want some cereal, they know where to come. Um, these are 60p for basically um, like a sort of popcorn shaped thing. And then, I wouldn't even class this as a breakfast, but milk and cereal biscuits, 
they'll do for Barry to take to work or something as a breakfast down to 50p and we did check everything is in date we've got we only picked up two packets because I pointed out to Barry that um it's a good reduction but compared to somewhere like farm foods it's still actually quite expensive because they were 68p so we've got two of those um what's this one midnight blooms normally i just would use a uh, disinfectant or bleach but it was down to 52p so it'll sit in the cupboard because it's not needed yet we did need tea and coffee anyway so this was handy 37p for what's now 93p it was 83 i think last time i looked but we have drunk that one before and it's fine uh, the tea bags we've got two boxes because there was lots of stuff there but it was 26p so between the two it was cheaper than buying one and we always buy this one anyway um this only serves two people it says but it's a nando's piri piri kit and that was down to one pound 28 so to me that's luxury um the walker's crest it's the box one there was two of them the other box was crushed in the middle but you could smell salt and vinegar coming out of it so some had obviously been popped this one you can't smell any flavors but 170 still feels like a lot to me but compared to what it was i'm hoping most of them are there because there's not enough room for anything to have been taken out the Square Chris, there's should be 12 packets in there, but they're one pound ten. But a 12 pack at two pounds seventy five. I really am out of touch where I keep buying the shop's own brands because I'm used to buying like Aldi's ones where you get 30 for one pound uh, for three pound twenty ish. So to me, one pound ten used to be a normal price <laughs> um i picked up two bags of rice this week because there wasn't any last week so i thought i'll get one for this week and one for a spare just because we do actually use quite a lot of rice dishes oh we've also got a, a foil i'm going to assume it's the thicker type because we got it for 62p I didn't even look to see how much the normal value one is but it's 10 meters so it'll do for wrapping sandwiches um a bag of peppers one bag of pasta and a bag of spaghetti i've picked up some more washing up liquid because i don't have enough for a whole week and with the bread the the blue packet is now 90p the cheap level one these are both in date till the 20th that's 39p now that's nice the white one i would say you've got to put it in like a sandwich toaster or toast it in for like jam or marmite on it i'm not sure if it's any good as sandwiches i think it's too dry got three packets of noodles for lunch times um because they like hot lunches the easy peelers they were on special at the front so i grabbed those there's no real fruit and veg because by the time we'd put all these yellow stickers in there wasn't much room in the trolley so i shall probably go out later in the week and get some but we've still got carrots and frozen veg so i might not need to but um yeah we've got those and we've got the wraps 
Oh, the light is really crazy, I'm sorry. Got some soya milk for Yuki and normal milk for us. It's now 165. At the beginning of the year it was like one pound fifteen or one twenty five. So it's creeping up. I just hope they are passing some of that um price increase to the farmers. I've got a tin of pilchards. We used to love sardines and that, but um when cutting them open to take out the bones, I got freaked out and we haven't brought them since. But I'm hoping with pilchards being bigger, there won't be so many stomachs to drag out. Cause, or somebody else will have to do it for me because I'm just fussy. And the sugar's also gone up to 85p. Uh, we also brought... Because Connor likes tuna, but he mixes his tuna with ketchup. So we thought we'd try him with some mackerel. We've got hot chilli sauce and curry. So I'm hoping he might try those. If not, they're going to obviously be used by somebody else. Or just sit in the cupboard till next week. But um, I am thinking of trying to get more cupboardy bits. Rather than everything for the freezer. More sponges, because they're always needed. Um... Being lazy again, I've brought two curry sauces and two sweet and sour. And with the belly pork, I don't normally buy, well I don't normally buy belly pork, but normally the Woodside one has the rind on still. And one packet we saw did, but both of these packets, they've taken the rind off, so I didn't mind buying that. And it is Connor's favourite cut of pork because it stays soft. We've got a swiss roll. We would have brought both but they didn't have any chocolate ones. A block of cheese because cheese can be used for everything. And this is the closest we can do for butter. <laughs> it sounds terrible doesn't it that you can't buy real butter but that was 2 19 for that one. Um, ketchup's another thing that's scary now because that's now off 63p for Tesco's own. Um, we've already mentioned the cola. The Yorkshire puddings are 50p because I'm thinking of doing one of these packs as a sort of like roast dinner. And I bought roast potatoes. They're 71p, but if you want them diced even smaller, they were twice the price. So that was crazy. But I bought fresh potatoes last week, and one of them went bad. And I just don't like the smell of the bad ones. So even though I washed all of them and all that sort of stuff, a lot of them, when you pe peeled them, there's little black marks on the inside. So I thought... I'm just going to go for ones that are ready done, no peeling needed. A packet of cooking bacon again, because it is like rashers, but it's cheaper to have a bacon sandwich than a cheese sandwich <laughs> when you buy this type of bacon. For Yuki, we've got corn pieces, because I think it was the pieces, not the mince that I've needed to get this week and some meat free sausages the Richmond frozen ones they worked out a bit better value than the corn ones and she used to get these fresh so I know she likes the Richmond ones and we've also gone for a bag of chicken portions rather than breast because I feel that there'll be more meat there and then more yellow stickers right these are for rocky um there's enough in there for one every day for five weeks it's saying but they were down to two pound 48 um didn't even check what size they were but i'm pretty sure they're the small dogs but i thought that was a really good saving 
And if I was to buy five packets in Aldi, it would cost more than that. And then I've got two packets of dog food because it was £2.80. I don't normally give him wet food, but it's getting really hard to... You look on the shelves and there's not much dry food. He's got enough dry food till next week um, because I prefer Aldi's big meaty chunks for him. But that's what we got him. So for the meals this week, I was thinking of... I'm going to have to move it so that I can actually read it. Uh, pork belly roast, homemade fish cakes because I've still got some fish in the freezer. It was supposed to be meatballs and pasta, but um, meatballs were cheaper in Aldi. So if I can find any mints in the freezer, I might try making my own. And then I've put like bacon noodle stir fry. That's where you get your peppers and all that and stir it all together. Um, but using the value noodles, not egg noodles or anything. And then I was going to do tacos, but because I didn't like the look of Tesco's mints, I'm going to probably do it with some of the chicken and it'll be more like fajitas. And then obviously just curry and sweet and sour. So that's seven meals if I stick to it. But um, I don't think I, I love Tesco's, I really do. And I'm not just saying that because my oldest daughter who is going to be 31 on Friday. Sorry, Amelia. But she works at Tesco's at her local um, town. And I think it's 11 or 12 years she's been there now. Between her store and working at our store first. So obviously I love Tesco's because they employ my daughter. But um, with the mints, I've said it before, they don't put it through the grinder thin enough for my liking. But I am really happy with the amount of yellow stickers we got. Because my shopping, if you don't include the £6 voucher, was £60.29p. Which is on budget. But because I got a £6 coupon, we only actually paid £54.29. Uh, which means I have got £6 to go and get some fresh carrots and that sort of stuff. But I also need to use up the frozen veg in the freezer in order to rotate it. So, yeah, I'm happy with what we got. Rocky's happy. And um, I would have also liked to get more tin stuff so that it sits in the cupboard and you open it and you think that looks lovely. <laughs> but we've got some meals. As long as I don't get too cold standing in the kitchen to do the cooking. Because like I said, it's 16th of November and we have not put our heating on yet. I have gone as far as wearing socks indoors. And that's it. But I will see you on my next shopping haul probably. Um, or whatever I decide to do. Bye bye.